urban mobility is evolving faster than ever. It used to be all horse-drawn carriages and complaining about the smell. But now, we've got solar-powered commuters and shape-shifting EVs coming out of our ears. And the best part? These 10 microcars aren't just concepts dreamt up by some bloke in his shed. They're already reshaping how we drive. They're perfect for navigating the urban jungle. They're kinder to the environment, and they won't have you forking out your life savings just to fill up the tank. So, based on popularity, innovation, and how much the public actually wants to buy them, let's count down the 10 microcars that are changing the game. Coming in at number 10, we have the Hurrico City car, a brainchild of those clever clogs at MIT. This little Spanish firecracker is a mere five feet long. That's shorter than a giraffe on its knees. And the best part? It folds. Yes, you heard that right. This car folds up tighter than a contortionist in a suitcase, allowing you to fit three of these bad boys in a single parking space. Try that with your oversized SUV, mate. The Hurrico has each wheel powered by an independent motor, meaning it can turn on a dime, or should I say a euro. And if you're worried about feeling like a sardine, fret not. The windshield swings up for easy entry and exit. Sadly, the Hurrico has been stuck in first gear due to funding issues. A real shame, because with a 60 mile range and a target price tag of $12,500, it had the internet drooling like a dog at a butcher shop. At number nine, we have the Eli Zero, America's answer to ultra-compact urban travel. Let's be honest, America's known for its love of gas-guzzling behemoths, so this little thing is a breath of fresh air. With a 60-mile range, it's not going to get you across the Grand Canyon in one go, but for zipping around town, it's perfect. Some of you speed demons might scoff at its top speed of 25 miles per hour, but that's plenty fast enough for navigating city streets. The 8 kilowatt hour battery charges quicker than you can say apple pie, clocking in at just two and a half hours. And at $11,990, it's cheaper than some motorcycles I could mention. This little fella is perfect for retirees, college kids who can't park, or even those delivery drivers who seem to think pavements are racetracks. Taking the eighth spot is something truly revolutionary, the Exev Yoyo. Now forget your robots and your AI, this is the future right here. It's the world's first mass-produced three-dimensional printed car. At a featherlight 450 kilograms, it's lighter than a baby elephant and significantly less likely to sit on you. But don't let its diminutive size fool you. This thing is street legal in Europe and it's got more personality than a Fiat 500 on a caffeine bender. The Yo-Yo boasts a swappable 10.3 kilowatt hour battery that gives you 100 kilometers of range. And here's the real genius part, because it's modular, repairs are a piece of cake. No more forking out thousands for a new wing mirror. At around $17,000, it's not exactly pocket change, but it's a glimpse into the future of car manufacturing. Number seven on our list is the Trio. A car so clever, it makes Stephen Hawking look like a bit of a dimwit. This isn't just some electric runabout. This is a shape-shifting marvel of engineering. When you need to park, it shrinks down to a minuscule 86 centimetres, slimmer than your chances of getting a date on Tinder. But put your foot down and it expands to a more respectable 148 centimetres, giving you the stability of a proper car. Speaking of putting your foot down, the Trio has a top speed of 90 kilometers per hour, which is more than enough to get you arrested in most school zones. Think of it as a cross between a car and a motorcycle. All the fun, none of the helmet hair. Now the Trio is aiming for the big league's car sharing fleets in cities like Tokyo and Berlin. And with a price tag between 10,000 and 20,000 euros, it's certainly got the potential to shake things up. At number six, we have the Vimo SE, a car for those who can't decide if they want to drive, cycle, or just have a good old-fashioned lie-down. This pedal electric hybrid is like a gym on wheels, but without the lycra-clad lunatics. Need to burn off that extra donut? Pedal away, feeling lazy? Engage the 1.5 kilowatt motor and let electricity do the work. The Vimo SE comes with enough storage space to rival a small supermarket, and the seats are rainproof, which is more than can be said for my last camping trip. 
There's no official price tag yet, but early adopters are already raving about its versatility. Breaking into the top five is a car so eco-friendly, it makes Greta Thunberg look like an oil executive. This is the Squad Solar City car, a license-free solar-powered runabout that's about as guilt-free as driving gets. This little fella has 700 watt rooftop panels that deliver 31 kilometers of free daily charging. That's right, free, no more extortionate petrol stations. And if the sun's having a day off, the 100 kilometer battery range will handle most urban trips. What's more, it's been crash tested, so you won't be turned into a human pancake at the first sight of a red light. And the best part? It starts at just $6,250, making it the most affordable solar EV on the planet. No wonder it's already a hit in Amsterdam and Barcelona. Number four, Nimbus One EV. Three wheels, zero emissions. Zipping into the number four spot is the Nimbus One EV, a vehicle that proves three wheels are better than four. This tilting EV has the agility of a motorcycle and the safety of a car, without the hassle of a helmet or the fear of getting your shoes scuffed. The Nimbus has a patented tilting system that keeps it glued to the road, even when some maniac in a white van cuts you off. The 9KW swappable battery gives you a respectable 93 miles of city driving, which is more than enough to escape the in-laws after Sunday lunch. And get this, it comes with AI collision prevention and air conditioning. At $9,980, it's practically a steal. Kicking off our podium finishers is the Microlino Urban, a car so stylish it makes a Ferrari look like a Trabant. This, my friends, is a modern reboot of the iconic 1950s Isetta bubble car, and it's here to bring some much-needed charm back to our streets. The Microlino is about as practical as a pair of stilettos at a music festival. But who cares when it looks this good? It's like driving around in a giant marshmallow, but one that can hit a top speed of 56 miles per hour. With a range of 95 kilometers, it's perfect for zipping around the city. And with 30,000 reservations already on the books, it's clear that Europe has fallen head over heels for this little charmer. At 17,990 euros, it's not exactly cheap, but can you really put a price on being the envy of every hipster in town? Taking the silver medal is the City Transformer CT1, a car that's more adaptable than a chameleon in a bag of Skittles. This EV can shrink to a mere one meter wide for parking. But don't let its diminutive parking size fool you. This thing means business. When you hit the open road, it expands to 1.4 meters for stability at speeds of up to 56 miles per hour. With a range of 180 kilometers and real world testing already underway in Tel Aviv, the CT1 is poised to revolutionize urban driving. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the car that's so futuristic, it makes Marty McFly look like he's stuck in the Stone Age. Taking the crown as the most in-demand microcar is none other than the Aptera Alpha. This solar-powered marvel boasts a mind-boggling 1,000-mile range. The Aptera achieves this feat of engineering wizardry thanks to its lightweight carbon fibre body and a super-efficient 700-watt solar roof. With over 40,000 reservations and a starting price of $25,900, it's clear that the Aptera Alpha isn't just a car, it's a movement. So there you have it, folks. The 10 most in-demand microcars that are changing the face of driving as we know it. From solar-powered wonders to shape-shifting marvels, these little fellas prove that big things really do come in small packages. Don't forget to tell us which one you'd pick in the comments below and hit that subscribe button for more future tech breakdowns like share and subscribe and hit the bell icon.